Hi, I'm Matt from hockeyreviews.ca and this is the Passau Stark blocker review. Um, so this is one like part generation behind. The new ones have a like, binding throughout the side right here. Because um, the interesting thing with Passau is when they do updates to their gear, they don't like they don't have a release cycle so when they do it they kind of just add it to the new one so you might have placed an order and then they will possibly ask you do you want the new like updates and you have a choice um so that is one of the updates on the new one of these i haven't used it obviously i have this one um so i'll talk about this one but i haven't seen the changes besides that um but we'll kind of just go about that first i want to preface this by saying um I pass out reach out to me to do a review on their set of gear. Um, and one of the reasons was because they believed that I was honest with my feedback and I could talk about custom features and ideas, even if the pad didn't work for me. Um, that was the case. I, I believe that's the case. I still think the CCM eFlex is the best softest rebounding pad with the stiffest core. In fact, it's the only one. I just think it sucks at sliding. Um, so, that's why they reached out to me and they sent me the set to do a review on. Um, I've had ne like negative feedback on the pad review and of me talking about the glove in the past. So I want to kind of put that out there. Me sharing my social media to show examples of different gear in comparison to this is not me promote. Well, it is kind of me pro promoting my channel, but that's kind of the point of doing these. Um, it's not me trying to get clicks or anything it's me trying to educate people by giving them examples and i have because of all the stuff i've used i have these examples to show people um so that's kind of what i'm getting at here so just to do a little uh, preface there now we'll jump into this review of the blocker um i think this is the i had the least problems with this over the whole set um, not that I really had huge problems with the pads, but I just felt there's, there's so many better options that why this one is okay. Um, so I guess we'll kind of just jump in like that. Um, the sideboard is pretty solid. It's, I'm not sure what the new one is, but I like this a lot. You get a lot of face, you get good coverage for your index finger and everything. Good padding there. And it's solid. It's like, it's not as solid as I'd prefer, but it's pretty close that, it's pretty good. Um, the thumb like, could maybe be a bit thicker or kind of like flatter, kind of like this one, how it conforms. That's me nitpicking. This thumb was probably totally fine. Um, I had no issues with it at all when using it. It was fine for that. Um, one thing I want to say that I really, really like, and hopefully this comes off on camera, there's this little black padding in here and that kind of keeps your it nice balance on your wrist, just like that. I really like that. It's comfy. It's soft, it gives a little bit more protection and just kind of keeps it more secure without having to really uh, clamp down on straps. Big fan of that design. Good job there. I really like that. Um, index finger protection is pretty good. It has these little flaps here. Um, no complaints about like stiffness or anything. They're just a piece of foam. I wish they were connected in a different way. So you can see how they're kind of connected right here and these flaps aren't really connected to anything. My problem with that, and maybe I can demonstrate this with a puck, is that whenever I had to pick up sticks, um, I, it doesn't work right now. Um, so whenever I had to pick up sticks or pucks on the ice, I had problems. Uh, I found these always got in the way. Now maybe that will change with more usage, um, but I just found whenever I tried to pick anything up that would get in the way and I couldn't really do it. I had that problem with CCM blockers as well. Um, and I wish that was a slightly different design. I'm a fan of how Bauer does it. You can see how it's on the fingertips. Um, so when you close it, your fingertips are exposed, but really the stick will be there. Um, but it allows your hand full range of motion while still kind of covering everything you need. I'm a fan of this design a little bit more than on the backhand padding or backhand the finger just because it follows your fingertips a little bit better. And it, in my opinion, doesn't get in the way. Uh, the, the palm is okay. Um, this black material is like, it's, it's not the most comfortable thing. It's not the most uncomfortable thing. It's just kind of in the, kind of in the middle. Um, I find there's different tiers for palm manufacturers. Uh, the top is Bauer and I would say Vaughn 
are right at the top for most comfortable and like I think best features overall. And then it kind of the step down would be uh, CCM and Brian's. And I would say these ones and like JRZ are all kind of like that one tier below the palm just aren't as like comfortable. They don't breathe as well as like Bauer and the Vaughn ones do. And I think that's the case definitely here. Um, wasn't a, so the black material is okay. It's fine. The mesh is just mesh. Like it's going to be pretty standard. Just like I said, I didn't breathe that well in it and it wasn't the most like the softest thing ever. The Quattro is way softer and whatever Vaughn uses is way softer as well. So it's more comfortable for me. Um, the one thing I'm going to say about this is this has a very, very unique finger design. Um, so you can see that you can't actually see where the stitching is and where the seam is. So normally gloves are like this. Um, you can see it on the outside. Basically the gusset goes onto the top or the inside of the palm. You sew it, you get it like that. You can see it on this bower where you can see the stitching. You can see the gusset. That's it. It's pretty straightforward. It's the same way both ways. This is not like that, as you can see. Um, now I asked a bunch of people, kind of like most of this equipment, I asked a ton of people if they had experience with this and how they felt about it. Um, and I got, uh, no one really noticed it, which was weird to me because I put it on my hands and it was the first thing I noticed. And I gave it to a friend of mine who put it on his hand, didn't notice it. Then I mentioned it to him and then it annoyed him. So it's really odd. Um, I can feel, the gussets in here all the time. So I, when I, like right now, this finger, I can feel that inner piece, like the, the what is this? Na the mesh, I can't remember this color right now. The air mesh, I can feel that like all the way through. And I can feel the, like the, this material that's bumped up, or sorry, sewn in. So it's like basically this on the inside. And it is unbelievably uncomfortable. I can feel on every finger and I can feel it all the time. Now, maybe when you use this more, it will soften up and like loosen up. Um, but I found this glove really, really uncomfortable to the point where it kind of made my fingers numb um, and not like as in a tightening pain or anything like that. But when something rubs on like a certain part of you over and over again, you kind of like lose that feeling and it goes away. And so I never really had, I felt had like great feel my stick because of this and it was really annoying to me. Um, I don't know why they did this. They, I think the reason I got from them was it's bet more durable this way, which maybe is the case uh, because a lot of, you do see blocker palms, the stitching blows out right here. So, I mean, that's not totally untrue, but at the same time, it's easier to, well, these would be much harder to repair because the, basically the way these are sewn is this area is sewn inside out. So this glove would be sewn on the other way. Then you flip it over, then you sew this one like that. Um, so one, you can't repairing it would be a massive pain because as you can see, there's no stitching. And if that wears out, you're kind of out of luck. Um, whereas this, if this stitching blows out, you just, sorry, if this stitching blows out, you literally just restitch it yourself. I've done it before with a speedy stitcher. It takes like five minutes and you just restitch over the, the, what, I can't remember the mesh there. And that's like, it works. So I'm really curious why they did this. And the reasoning for durability is interesting. Um, I'm it, I hate it uh, personally. It's, but again, this is kind of like the catching glove where I have an issue with this and no one else does. So I have a hard time. Like it makes me question my experiences and opinions on this because no one else is having this issue and no one else really cares. Um, but I did, and I noticed that the minute I put on this glove, and I actually I pointed it out to someone else I know locally who has this blocker. I put it on for the first time, and I said. Like I felt it and I thought that was really weird and I pointed out to him. He's like, oh, I never noticed that before. So maybe I'm picky. Maybe my hands are too soft and I need to grow up. But, um, but that I felt that and it was really annoying. Um, so I want to call it out because again, these are my experiences. So I want to go over everything. Um, rebounds on this were okay. They weren't huge by any means. I felt them to be a little bit more punchy than CCM blockers are. So it's kind of a step up on that, but nothing like the blocker, the Bauer blockers or the JRZ blocker I used, um, kind of a step down from that, but not bad. It was okay. Um, one thing I do want to talk about, cause I think this is pretty interesting is, so I, I brought this up on pads with loose stitching and everything like that. Um, and how they, 
Passau prides itself on being Canadian made in quality. And a lot of people who buy this brand say, I want to support Canadian companies, which I'm fine with. Um, and they say like overseas quality is really bad. I've worn like, so this stitching is already coming out. Um, yeah. Uh, and then this stitching is seemingly, I didn't pull this apart. I just noticed this when filming this. Um, so normally that connects to the palm here. I'm not like sure the total reasoning for it or why. Um, it's on like every glove. You can see the excess stitching there and it never went through. Um, and you can see it connected right here. So yeah, um, I noticed that on the pads were just stuff isn't finished as nice as I think it should for like the price and for what like they're going with. And it's like the boutique design, the boutique company. Um, the interesting thing is you can see the foams back here, which is cool where it has a soft foam and then it has this harder, denser foam right here. So that's where you're getting your protection. Obviously this foam and probably a layer of plastic in there, but this is kind of the padding part for the back of your hand. It's kind of interesting. You can see it, it's exposed. Again, I didn't rip this open. I just noticed it when filming. Um, so yeah, would that be, like affect performance? Probably not. It's a super easy fix too. I mean, I could speedy stitch up myself like that, but you shouldn't have to. I've used this blocker maybe 20 times. So I think that's, shouldn't be that like that so far. Um, so that rounds it up for the pass out blocker review. It's okay. Um, if you were buying a whole set and you want to match everything, I don't think getting this would be a problem. Um, it's not going to negatively affect you. You're going to be protected enough. I a hundred percent think that there are better options out there. Um, in fact, I would offer, yeah, there's better options out there. I would like, if someone asked me a personal recommendation that this wouldn't be it, but it's not bad. It's just, it could be a lot better. I'm curious to see what the upgrades are. Probably will never find out in person unless someone I've, I know or play against has one. Um, but that is what it is. Remember, these are my opinions on, um, these are my opinions on this gear different. Many other people have different. I know that because of all the feedback I got on this, I can only talk of my experiences and how I compare it to other gear I've used, which has been plenty. Um, so I, maybe I set the bar too high. I don't think that's the case. I think people should always be pushing forward and pushing for better and better. And I think there could be a ton of improvements in this whole set as a whole. Um, one of the things they want it past how I want to get through is that they're very custom and boutique and we'll do a ton of different changes for you. I don't know what those options are for this. Um, cause not a lot of people buy blocker, like custom blocker, customized blockers. A lot of people say a blocker is a blocker and I totally disagree with that. I have very specific things I like. I can put a glove on and like it and or no, I won't like it within about 20 seconds. Um, like optic blocker, I can't stand. So I don't use it. I use this instead. Um, yeah, I just think there's like the stitching it annoys me. Um, this kind of just gets in the way. I think it could be better. The rebounds could be punchier, but again, that's not a big thing, but like the, the finish here is kind of disappointing. I, I do want to point out that Passau can, does printed graphics. So you can get some pretty crazy designs on there and like more so than their cut and sew, which is also very impressive. They have uh, like, super custom cut and sew and it was much cheaper than if you went like a Brian's or Vaughn route for that. Um, so that was their, like their big draw. Yeah, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links in the description, hit the bell icon on YouTube so you get notified when I make new content. Instagram and Twitter have smaller little bite-sized content that might be interested in pictures and comparisons, stuff like that. For example, I have a really cool picture of the Vaughn SLR blocker and why I think it's one of the best ones on the market, specifically with how they do their fingers stalls um, and fingers. So check out that. Remember, uh, so I think that, that's about it. Thank you very much, very much for watching. Make sure you check out the reviews of the other pieces of this equipment, which will be at the end of this video and in the description. Um, so yeah, take it easy.